Scroll first in Payoneer. In this lesson you're going to learn which service you sign up for depending on which country you're in and also how to get set up. So most importantly make sure you have watched the previous lesson so you know which group your country is in. If you live in a group one country you do not need to watch this lesson. You can use your own bank information for the deposit method. Simply move on to the next lesson. If you live in any of the countries in group two then continue to watch this lesson. You need one of these two services. So our first recommendation is to use World First. However, they can only serve certain countries on the list of Group 2 countries. If your country is in this list, use World First. China, Israel, Japan, South Korea, South Africa and Sweden. If you are in any other country in Group 2, then use Payoneer. Now we have built a fantastic relationship with both these companies over the past four years. Because of this we have our own reps inside both companies. These reps are at a high level within their companies. This means we can get you expedited support should you need it. Required information. You must give your real information to both these companies. For instance your real home address or business address. Not any kind of mail service. They operate under the same regulations as banks. They will also probably need you to verify your information. So you will need your local address and phone number. You will also need to prove your identity to them. World First. So we are going to start with World First. To go to the correct page use the following URL. AmazingSellingMachine.com forward slash world dash first. Okay once you've used that link you're going to come to this page. Now. Starting out this is actually going to be the USA page and what you're going to find is that when you actually select your own country in other words a country that requires one of the two services we've mentioned then it's probably going to take you to the UK page and there is nothing to worry about there. It's just how World First organizes things. For instance if you're from Bulgaria it's not going to take you to the Bulgaria page. It's going to take you to the UK page. For this example I'm actually going to go through and use information from the UK. So on the page I click on the drop down box where it says which country is your business trading from. And don't worry that it says business. You can do this as an individual. So I'm going to select United Kingdom and as you can see it's saying here because you're based in the United Kingdom you'll need to continue registration on our UK site. And remember that will say that for 99% of any of the countries in the list. Clicking on continue. Okay so I filled out the boxes. As you can see I put in my name, a username, a fictitious email address and the password. Then you're going to want to put in your telephone number. Your telephone number is very important because it's very likely they're going to need to call you but it's a painless experience. Remember they need to be sure of who you are because they have to sign people up exactly the way any normal bank would. Now personally I'm not all that interested in receiving information about currency exchange rates so I left the box unchecked. For the last option you want to check the box. Again don't worry that it says business and then click sign up. Okay we're on to the next page which is about your details. So again you just need to fill them in. So I pretty much got it all. If you've got a middle name then add that. You can also add another phone number and then you want to add your date of birth. So once you put your date of birth in obviously you have to put your real date of birth in because they may well need to verify it. Then you just click next. Okay where do you live? You've got to fill in your address details. Now I've filled out all the information but I am going to blur it out. But once you've filled it all out all you need to do is click on the next button. And now it's asking for your company structure. Now if you don't have an existing company just select sole trader. If you don't have a company name just use your own name. Now if you don't have an existing storefront in other words an e-commerce site something like that then don't worry. Just use amazon.com and click next. Now they need proof of your address. So you're going to need to provide one of the following. Now you can always click to provide this later but if I was to click on the utility bill you can see you're going to have to scan it and upload it. Okay now obviously I don't want to go through with that to go to the next page so I'm going to click on I'll provide this later. But if you've got one of these documents then go ahead and submit it now. Now where it says what type of goods do you sell you can put physical products on Amazon or if you've got an idea of what you want to sell then you can put that. It's not super strict right now. You may need to give them an example but it just means you go to Amazon and give them an example product. For instance I could put beauty products. And then if they ask me to confirm what type I could just go to Amazon find any beauty product 
and use that as an example. They do know who we are and will help you as much as they can. How much do you think you'll transfer with us in the next 12 months? Put 50 to 100,000 and you can put it in pounds or your local currency. Where did you hear about us? Very important. Although you've actually used our link, which is critical to make sure they know who you are, you also want to do it here. And you do that by clicking on the select button, scroll down, select other, and then just put amazing.com amazing selling machine and it helps them recognize who we are next okay and there you go it's actually set up your account next we are going to go to Payoneer to go to the correct page use the following URL amazing selling machine.com forward slash Payoneer that's P-A-Y-O-N-W-E-R now that link will forward you to this page or one very similar and once you're here, all you need to do is click on the sign up and earn $25 button. Now, this is the page you're going to come to. And as I've said before, you fill in all your correct information. Now, as you can see, I've filled in all the information, although I've blurred some of it out because it's personal. But you want to fill in your first name, last name, email address, re-enter that email address, and lastly, your date of birth. Then once you've done that, click on next. Now, on this page, we're gonna be filling out our country our full street address, the city, and the zip or postal code. You're also going to add a phone number. Now this is important because they may well want to call you, for instance if you make a mistake when you're getting set up. Now I've filled out all the information and once again I've blurred it out. Once you've filled it all in, just click on next and you can use a mobile or a landline, it doesn't really matter. Now the next box is about security and this is basically your security for accessing your account. So you're going to want to put in a password, re-enter that password, and then choose one of the security questions. For instance, what was the last name of your favorite college professor? Or what was your major during college, wedding anniversary, etc. Just, just pick any one you wish. Now, when you're filling out the password, make sure it's at least seven characters and you need to include at least one Latin alphabet. In other words, A to Z and one numeric zero to nine. Once you've filled out all the information, you're just going to be clicking on next again. Now, this is the most difficult part in actually creating your account. You need to give them some kind of proof of who you are so they know they can actually issue you with an account. Essentially, think of this as just like if you were to go into your local bank and open a bank account. They are going to need to see proof of who you are. So I'm going to choose passport and then you simply fill in all the information. Now I've used fake information here and I'm not going to complete this process because I don't want to hassle Payoneer with getting an account request that's not real. But essentially I've made up all this information. I've said passport, I've filled in all the information. Do bear in mind that you may well have to send them a scan or image of your passport or driving license. But not always. But let's carry on. We're going to scroll down. So you can enter an alternate shipping address. In other words, if you want the card sent to a different address, you can. My suggestion is to use your home address at all times with Payoneer, especially until you get up and running. And then you just want to check all the boxes that you agree to everything and then click order. And once you've done that, you're pretty much done. Now, if they need more information from you, they are going to email you or possibly call you. And this is nothing to be worried about. They're very helpful and provide quality support. If something comes up that you're not entirely sure about and that Payoneer are not explaining to you well enough for you to understand, then by all means contact us. You can just go and post in the community with any questions you might have. But that's how you get set up with Payoneer. Now, once they've accepted your account, they will be sending you your debit card to that shipping address. And they'll also be giving you an account number. That is the account number that you're going to put inside Amazon in your deposit method. So what's next? So now you've learned how to get your world first or your Payoneer account set up. In the next lesson, you're going to learn critical guidelines you need to know before you create your Seller Central account. Your action step for this lesson, apply for your world first or Payoneer account so that when you create your Seller Central account, you can add your deposit method. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.